Congress is set to vote on the Save Our Gas Stoves Act to block government outreach from the Department of Energy. Uh, Claudia Tenney, she's the Republican from New York, uh, a friend of the show. She joins me now. Good morning, Congresswoman. Look, even if this makes it to the president's desk, how can we stop this overreach? I mean, I, I, it's ridiculous that we're even talking about it, right? Absolutely. I mean, this is insane. 40 million people have gas stoves. I actually am not one of them, but I think my new home that I'm moving into <laughs> does have a gas stove. So I'm going to be cut off because of this crazy law. New York State is now run by hard left Democrats, one party rule. Uh, they passed this uh, extraordinary bill, which is, is I think it, it, it's not just about gas stoves. It's banning the use of fossil fuels, which is New York State is so dependent on, especially in upstate New York. I mean, I yeah. look at the energy grid for the United States, 60% is still relying on fossil fuels. The other 19% is nuclear. So all of the nuclear power plants in the state of New York are in my district, which are gonna be uh, mandatory for providing baseload power because wind and solar are just not reliable. They're not cost effective and they're not gonna get us through the cold winters and they're not gonna heat our homes. Uh, the way that it needs to be, not to mention we don't have transmission lines. Right. But I think the gas stove issue just hits home to most people because it literally gets to your everyday life of just cooking in your home. Exactly right. I want to move on to this subject, obviously a big talker. Uh, uh, New York City Mayor uh, Adams made a surprise visit to migrant centers to check in and, quote, make sure everything is OK, unquote. But how can he complain when New York City has always touted itself as a sanctuary city? I mean, this is reality, right? Right. He really can't complain because not only is New York City a sanctuary city, there's numerous cities upstate and also, remember, they want to, uh, Kathy Hochul, the governor, wants to put uh, a lot of these migrants into colleges, the SUNY system, State University of New York system, at the expense of the taxpayers on the state level and the local governments who are going to have to fit the bill. Think about how dangerous that could be. I say, you know, even a former Governor Patterson criticized Adams for not being ready for this although I'm sure he probably supports this sanctuary policy. This is really unfair to taxpayers all over the state. But think about this also. We have a lot of private colleges who only take a small fraction of state funding, usually, and, and some federal funding through grant programs and scholarships. Think about how many of them are sanctuary colleges. Why aren't they, with their massive endowments, these big private colleges, you know, well-regarded Ivy League colleges in New York, maybe they should be helping the taxpayers of New York by taking some of these migrants. Honestly, I'm kidding when I say that. I'd rather see us not have this yeah. policy because the, the, the cartels are controlling. Uh, I have the northern border. I'm part yeah. of the northern border security caucus. Uh, and this is like this is a major issue uh, for us because we are you know, we have people coming through our border because of the stress at the southern border. Yeah, it's it's it, it beggars belief, I think, is the only thing I can come up with. <laughs> and these uh, migrants, are they properly vetted? I don't think so. We're going to have to leave it there. But Congresswoman, uh, woman Claudia Tenney, great stuff as always. Thanks for joining us.